Good enough. So the brokey days were good days, bro, man. Like I, I'd, I'd get McDonald's and you're laughing with your boys. Yeah. The brokey days are great. And I'm not complaining about being rich. Obviously, I worked hard for this and it's, and it's a fantastic life I live now. But I think without those brokey days, without those original days to compare it to, without that juxtaposition, then I don't think being rich would be fun at all. I think it's only fun because you can compare it to the days when you weren't rich. That's the only thing that makes it fun. The only thing that makes my $10,000 steak fun is that you can laugh saying how you never had 10 grand in your bank till you were 27 years old. Yeah. Like that's, otherwise it's boring. Otherwise you, okay, steak. And I think if you're born with too much money that you'll never truly be happy. I think you need the brokey days. They're the best days. They're the best yeah, days. Some people are literally brought up rich, born into money essentially. Yep. You know, if your dad's born, uh, sorry, if you're born and your dad's got Ferraris, Lamborghinis and stuff like that, yep. you think that they're not really tr uh, experiencing true fun and happiness sort of thing because they don't know the difference. It's Yeah, it's not the destination, it's the journey. And and, and humans, we all we all work in, in regards to, it's even the way the human body works, right? If you're driving at 200 miles an hour, you don't feel it. You only feel the acceleration getting to 200 miles yeah, an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're born at 200 miles an hour, it doesn't feel fast. It doesn't feel fun. Me, my life feels fun now because of all the acceleration to get here. And I can remember the times when I was stuck by the side of the motorway without a car. Yeah. So I, I, I have that juxtaposition. Without that, it's not even, it's not even interesting. It's not even fun.